Hello. Welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. Today we will discuss how to download Byte 3 results into PowerDB. Let's get started. To download results from the Byte 3 into the PowerDB software, you would need to connect the instrument to your laptop using the serial cable that came with the unit. If you're using your own serial cable, make sure that it's a null modem cable. After having connected the instrument to your laptop, you would select Byte 3 on the PowerDB software and then go to Device Manager. In Device Manager, go to Ports and find out what COM port has been assigned to the instrument. In this case, the COM port is COM14. I'm using a USB to serial adapter uh, to connect uh, the, the serial cable to my laptop. So I know that COM14 is for the byte 3. I'm going to put that number here. Then I'm going to click on OK. I get a similar window for a hydrometer. Uh, we do have an option uh, we, uh, for, for connecting a data logger which, which can transfer specific gravity readings onto the PowerDB uh, impedance, uh, impedance testing form on PowerDB. Uh, and that's why this this uh, window has been provided uh, in case we want to transfer data using the data logger. Uh, we're not going to be using that uh, right now. So I'm just going to click on OK. But before I click on OK, uh, let me just uh, mention this. Uh, if you are using, it doesn't matter if you're using the data logger or not, just make sure that the number that's assigned here is different from the number that you uh, that, that, that you enter for the instrument. So in this case, we used 14 for, for the byte. Uh, so this, this is not 14. As long as it's not 14, I'm good. Um, just click on OK. So here it tells me, uh, as soon as I click on OK, it, uh, it asks me, do you want to import data from a byte? Um, I can click on Yes. And then it gives me instructions here. Connect the byte 3 to the selected COM port. Verify the byte 3 unit is powered up. Verify the byte 3 unit is displaying the main screen. Uh, all of these uh, are are okay so I can just click on next to start the data transfer so it says by three communication success and I can see all the results that are there on the instrument let me just pick a test here uh, so you can select one test or you can select multiple tests uh, I'm just going to select one test here so here it says the the form to which the data is going to be imported we just have one battery impedance testing form that's 10750 uh, it says five test results available on the instrument I just selected one result and I'm going to gonna click on next when I do that it asks me where where do I want to save the XML file that's going to be created the default location is the PowerDB v11.2 folder under my documents. Uh, so if I want to change the location, I can just do that by clicking on this and then selecting the new path. But I'm just going to uh, leave this to the default path, which is PowerDB v11.2. And then hit next. When I do that, it brings up a window where it asks me to assign uh, some information like owner, region, site and string have already been assigned uh, when, we, when, when this test was created on the instrument. So I can assign an owner and a region. here so I could have assigned a new uh, site and string ID as well if I wanted to I just stuck with the values which are already uh, present there and then when I uh, as I enter all this information you can see the file name shows up here based on what I've entered under owner region site and string so this is the file name which will be uh, assigned to the file that will be generated okay so when I click on finish 
it generates the file and the file is created in the PowerDB v11.2 folder. And that's what this message says. Uh, it says file open, use file open to weave the data files. And that's what we, we can do now. Uh, click on OK. And uh, when I click on OK, it just takes me to the open function. Um, another way to open an existing test file is, um, I, I'll just hit cancel out of this. I could have just selected the test file from here by going to the PowerDB v11.2 folder. Uh, but instead of doing that, I'll just show you, when I hit cancel, it just takes me back to the software, back out of this, uh, this open file function. And I can just go to home, click on open, and then go to documents, PowerDB v11.2, and that's where my file is. So when I select the file and I click on open, I can see the test date and time, uh, and then I can click on open. That shows me the file. I mean, there aren't any readings. There are no readings over here, but uh, Essentially, that's how you do it. Another way of downloading the test results from the Byte 3 uh, onto the PowerDB software is click on the instrument, uh, make sure that the instrument is connected. You can go to Device Manager uh, to check the COM port assigned to the device if you're not sure about it. Uh, we have already connected, so I know that it's 14. I'm going to click on OK, get past the second window for the hydrometer. Now here it asks me, do you want to import data from a byte? I can just click on No. When I click on No, it opens up the battery uh, impedance testing form. If you if you've already been using the software, then it may uh, give you this message uh, where it asks you if you want to use the nameplate uh, data from the previous test. Uh, I'm just going to click on no for this. Now, when it brings up this blank impedance testing form, uh, you still have the option of importing the data. So in the in the first half of this video, we saw how to import the data when it gives you that message where it asks you, do you want to import data from the instrument? Now, that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is uh, cre opening up a blank impedance testing form and then right clicking on the form and then say selecting import by three data it gives you the same set of instructions i can click on next here it connects to the instrument again and it pulls up all the results that are stored in the um, in the instrument now this time i can select another test uh, to download from the instrument having selected a test i click on next it again provides me the default path here. Just gonna stick to that. And brings up the same window that it showed earlier. Um, I can assign an owner region side string. I am going to maybe assign a different one this time. Um, Okay, so having assigned the owner, region, site, and string, I can see that a new file name has been created here. Uh, I'm going to click on finish. When I click on finish, the file will be generated. And then uh, when I click on OK, it basically You can see that nothing happens to the impedance testing form. Uh, it's still empty. And that's because uh, the file is generated, but it doesn't open the form. Okay, and that's what it says in the message, the little message that appears. So people can get confused here. And uh, one may ask, you know, I just created the file. Why, why don't I see the readings on the form? That's because the file is generated, but it's not, it's not opened. The readings are not uh, shown here on this form. So we'll just go to open and you can see here that the file has been created. You'll just select that 
and you can see the test here the test date and time just click on open and it opens up the uh, form with the with all the measurements so these are the two, two ways in which you can download results from a by three onto your power db software this concludes the video on how to download by three results into power db Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos, including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic, or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.